Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the 2023 Top 10s, and this is going to be on my number four welterweight in the world right now, the former unified welterweight champion, Keith One Time Thurman. Before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So Keith Thurman, um, he moves up one spot from number five to number four, but he didn't fight at all in 2023. And it's tough for me to leave him in the top 10. It really is. But in all fairness, he was doing the Crawford Spence dance, trying to get in line for one of them or somebody else. And, um, you know, nothing ever came from that. But now that they fought, I'm letting, I'm allowing him to be in the top 10 for now, but purely based on the fact that he dominated Mario Barrios in 2022, even though it was early on, but he's close to being out of action for two years. And if you go back to 20, I believe it was 2019, when he um, lost to Manny Pacquiao, or was it 2019? I think it was 2019 when he lost to Manny Pacquiao or 2018. You know, this guy has been out of action a lot over the last five years. But his one signature win is significant over a guy who's a legitimate interim champion and defeated your Dennis Ugas and Mario Barrio. So that's why I got Keith Thurman hanging by a thread here. But he's got to get back to action. There was talks about him fighting Amante Stanionis in December for the WBA regular belt. But that never came to fruition. Part of the reason was because of the... Um, because of uh, the PBC moving on from Showtime and signing a deal with Amazon. So I'm hoping that he's one of the first names and fights that are gonna happen out the gate, but I'm not sure because we gotta wait and see what happens with the Crawford and Spence situation. But at 35, Keith Thurman really, in my opinion, has wasted his early 30s by not fighting, and it's a shame. He's the WBA's number two contender. That's his highest ranking. He's 30 and one with 22 knockouts. And I'm hoping he comes back and fights somebody significant in 2024, but I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know if he wants any of the young bucks, if he's just gonna be head hunting for Crawford or Spence or one of those guys, but I don't think he's gonna get either one of them. Keith Thurman is very confusing and he's holding on by a thread and I'm not gonna keep him in the top 10 much longer. So we'll see. Hopefully he comes out and he does fight Stanionis next. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to hold my breath and we just got to wait and see what happens. But that's it. That's what I got. That's my 2023 top 10 on my number four welterweight in the world right now. The former unified welterweight champion, Keith One Time Thurman. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.